Hello, this is Tina and welcome back to our channel. This is gonna be a completely different video because this is not gonna be about Durian and this is not gonna be a vlog. If you guys have been following my Instagram, then you've probably noticed that Simon hasn't been with me for at least a week now and I've been getting a lot of questions like, hey, what happened to Chippy? So I feel obliged to make this video and explain everything that happened. Basically, we finished our road trip from Malaysia, I think that was about 10 days ago, and I flew into Bali. And I was super excited about that because for the first time in two years, my best friend Joanna, who by the way is behind the camera filming this, thank you Joanna. Hi guys. Uh, my best friend Joanna joined me in Bali. She only came here for nine days, but I have been waiting for this for two years to show her my favorite place in the world. So right now we're doing, I think, five days in Ubud and four days in my very favorite place in North Valley and I'm having her eat all the fruits by the way in the meantime while I've been in Asia Joanna went plant-based and she's now like a plant food enthusiast so we also did a lot of raw food restaurants in Ubud but it's no secret I filmed a lot of it so our next video is going to be a I think raw restaurant feast that I was never able to film before because I never had a companion that would go like yeah man let's go to all the raw food restaurants raw and vegan okay you guys are gonna love it and basically I've been having the best time ever you know I have I have needed this much needed female energy in my life for a long time and I'm super grateful my best friend came here you know we've been friends for two decades we are now entering the third decade of our relationship we went when I was 20 and I'm almost 40 now so it's been amazing my only regret is that she's only here for nine days so it's very hard to pack everything I love about Bali into nine days if you know what I mean anyway back to Chippy Chippy did not fly with me to Bali at all so this was actually a part of a grand scheme because Simon has always wanted to do a vipassana and being with me at all times he didn't feel like leaving me for entire two weeks so there was never a good moment but then when the opportunity arose that Joanna can come and hang out with me and we can have a girl's time and at the same time Chippy can go to a vipassana we were like okay let's do it so we've been trying to merge all our schedules for the last I think year and a half and it was and you know now at the end of August and beginning of September it was finally possible so Tipi went to a Vipassana with one that was halfway between Malaysia and Bali it is in Bogor Java the neighboring Indonesian island to Bali and as far oh hello butterfly oh that's maybe Chippy that's Chippy for sure oh my god that was chippy <laughs> sorry i just i miss him i always used to tell him that you know when we're not there and you see a butterfly you know that's gonna be me but that was meant like after i die but <laughs> i'm sure he would choose like a little white butterfly so anyway as far as i know his day six in vipassana in bogor now and let me just, for those of you who don't know what a Vipassana is, Vipassana is a 10-day silent meditation retreat. And basically what it means is that you meditate every day for 10 to 11 hours in a, um, in a lotus position. The objective is not to move and, you know, go inside your head. Um, the last meal is served at... 11 you have to live in very modest conditions like either in a room of four people or in in a, in a space that's as narrow as your bed you're not allowed to speak to anybody for almost 11 days you're not allowed eye contact they take away your passport and your phone when you arrive there it's very strict but for many people it has been life-changing oh they also take away all your electronics your reading material your writing material it's just basically they create um, 
a space where you can go inside yourself and like without all the outside noise find out who you really are I'm not gonna tell you it's not challenging I mean it is especially if you go into a Vipassana center as a fruitarian that could be one of the biggest challenges because they serve vegan food you know one meal at 6 a.m. and then another meal at 11 a.m. but the availability of fruit is um, seasonal, optional, dodgy, don't know if there's going to be any fruit, so you can end up have, living on like a banana or two a day. Still, Simon really, really wanted this for himself and I fully supported him on going into the Vipassana because he really is into meditation, much more so than I am. So as far as I know, he's probably in day six today, he is. Um, I have no contact with him. They, they've taken away his phone and I hope he's doing well. You know, I can only conclude that he's still there because he hasn't contacted me. Personally, I have been to a Vipassana. This was before we started our YouTube. This was a year and a half ago. Um, exactly. Um, for me, it was a bit of a traumatic experience. If you were following me on Instagram back then, then you probably know, which is why I probably wouldn't go to a Vipassana again. Anyway, if, if you want to find out about my Vipassana experience, <laughs> probably my only Vipassana experience, um, comment down below Tina's Vipassana and I will soon make a video, you know, uh, with a recap of my experience in Vipassana and why I think it's really difficult and not for everybody. Anyway, so while I'm having all this, you know, gorgeous girly time, he's stuck there in imprisonment. Anyway, I do miss him. This is the first time we separated for more than 45 minutes in a year. We're like, you know, we're like that, inseparable. And the only time we actually ever separate is when we go running and he runs faster than I do. And other than that, we've been like together for nonstop for a year. Anyway, just to give you an update on our plans, in about, I think, a week, Simon will return here to Bali. I mean, Joanna's flying out in two days, unfortunately. Then I'm going to have about, I think, five days on my own. And then Simon joins me in Bali, where we plan to live, um, I don't know, for the next two or three months. You know, we're kind of like in the flow, but in all realms, nothing feels like home the way Bali does and I just have to make it my home long term I haven't figured out you know the ins and out of this equation but it looks like we're gonna be here long term definitely for another couple of months and just one last thing like a super funny anecdote because <laughs> um, we were gonna come here and take a break from durian like we we're like we're saturated with eating durian we're saturated with talking about durian, filming durian. We're like, you know, we're gonna take our life to a new level eating only juicy fruits. You know, we're gonna take our YouTube to a new level, which is actually true. We're, we're, I'm gonna start talking about other stuff. Like I'm, there's so many videos where I'm talking to the camera, like this one, which I'm dying to put out. Okay, and here's the thing. I come to, the, to North Valley two days ago. I go out on my favorite walk I look at the durian trees and I'm like, oh my god, there is, the trees are loaded with durian. Can you believe that? There is a completely surprise freak season, freak durian season coming to Bali in about four to six weeks. Not only durian, it's not one tree, it's like hundreds of trees and mangosteen. So, like, looks like the durian, you know, doesn't want to let go of us. We're going to be here in Bali in peak durian season, completely unexpected in, you know, it's just, it's going to be all, there's already some durian in Bali, quite a lot actually. And I don't mean like, you know, Montong from Thailand, local durian, but mangosteen, you know, I just can't believe how, how lucky we are like the durian season is once a year in bali it usually happens in february and now there's going to be a freak season in october i guess there is going to be some durian videos in there but don't hold it against me anyway thank you for watching this um if you have any ideas of what kind of videos you would like me to post you know the kind of videos where we share you know secrets about our lifestyle or our health our journey 
or anything if you have any vlog ideas just post below and bye bye from bali i love you guys see ya Mwah.